How's it guys? Junaid here. I'm going to show you all today how I make a general bait with a mackerel, chocker and prawn. You can catch any fish with this from a shark up until a edible to any size fish. So it's uh, you need the following items. This is some old bait. So you need a whole mackerel. You need some prawn. You'll need some chocker. And for your fishing items you'll need you'll need a big hook for a trace, you'll need a dangle, you'll need your dangle needle, you'll need a scissors, you'll need some cotton, you'll need your knife, and you'll need your chocker hammer. How you start this bait is you take you know, this bait is is it's used mainly for when there's not much fish around because how this bait is going to be presented is that um, when I put the mackerel head inside and put chocker over it and I put some fillets on the side. So this bait generally releases blood very slowly. So if the fish are eating quite fast then you don't use this bait because you just want the scent to get out fast. So if the bites are slow, you use this bait. It releases slowly and it can aid you in your pull. You first start taking a mackerel and you cut him half. This bait only works when you have a mackerel that is semi-frozen. You take your scissors and you cut your gill plates off. So there's many different ways guys use to cut gill plates, but I like it. I like to cut it like this from the side, where you just get more blood flowing out. So guys usually they they cut the the skin this mackerel. So it bleeds a lot, but today I'm not going to skin it. The next thing what you do is you make two fillets from your your mackerel. You get two fleshy fillets. So there you have it. You have two fillets, and you have your mackerel head. Next thing what you do is you take your chocker hammer, you take your prawn. You got the you get the rough side and you get the fine side. You take your rough side, take the prawn and smash it into the into the into the chopper. You hit both sides hard. So basically what this does is it knocks the prawn into the chopper. So it releases slowly. Do this for both pieces. Next, what you do, you take your you take your 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 needle and you poke it into your mackerel head. You take your dangle, you attach it to this side of the pull it in. Remove your dangle. So here you have your dangle into your mackerel head. Then you take your hook, I'm using a Samurai 11 hook, hook it from the bottom of your mackerel head through the mouth till it's hooked in like this. This is one half done of the bait. Thereafter you take your, your chocker and wrap it up on the sides. The tighter you wrap it the better for you because here you want to protect the blood that's inside the the mackerel as it is this is old bait so sometimes the old bait work better where there's more scent coming out of the bait take the rest of your prawns and guts and you can tie it up also Next what you do, you take your fillets, put it on the side over your chocker, start winding it. Take your other piece of, of fillet and wrap it up on the side also. 